Hey guys, today I am going to talk about, you know, what it's been like to be the top content creator in MetaZoo. It's been wild, you know, as somebody who has never owned a MetaZoo card and probably never will own a MetaZoo card, God bless. Um, it's been a interesting time. The one thing I have found is that most MetaZoo content creators are either non-existent or... More likely, they are trying their best to sell MetaZoo at a, in my opinion, quite expensive rate. Again, this is just my experience. I do feel like in terms of where this leads MetaZoo content creation, it's just a bunch of people trying to sell heavy bags to other bunches of people. And it's not great, right? MetaZoo is not going to the moon. It is stuck on ground, and I don't think um, it is a good investment long term. I don't even think it is a good investment short term. I just think it is not an investment. Now, MetaZoo could have done something interesting. They absolutely could have tried their best to create a player base, create community, instead of just selling. When you have online influencers who don't own game stores, who don't, create contest or um, play groups and that's who you kind of market to that's your bread and butter well you're going to find yourself in a lot of trouble when these influencers no longer want to sell your product uh, to my knowledge there's only two of them left argos and alpha investment i think alpha investment is out the door he's been very vocal of how much time his grading company is taking him and I have no doubt. I mean, it looks like it's a mess out there in PCG land. We'll see how the grading company does. You know, he's very micromanaging, and I don't know how he's going to handle those employees. So another big thing that I want to kind of reiterate and re just tell you over and over again until it becomes really boring is that we shouldn't... I mean, right now, money is tight, my friends. Money is the tightest I've ever seen. Uh, people are living paycheck to paycheck. Right now is not the time to be spending 400 300 whatever. I, I, I don't know. What is Rudy Crown Eater going for right now? Somebody leave me a comment below uh, exactly how much money Rudy Crown Eater is costing because I do think that in terms of uh, spending money, now is just not a great time, man. It is not a great time. It is... Everything is super expensive today. Inflation is one hell of a drug, right? And once the American economy gets inflation, it's really hard to get off inflation. My point is, as a business owner, I'm not hiring in the holidays, which is weird, right? Um, I'm kind of pulling back. And I'm just going to speak from my own experience and then tell you about other business owners. Because I, I work in marketing. I own a marketing agency. And we do marketing for many other businesses. Everyone's pulling back their spending right now. And the last thing you should be buying is Rudy Crown Eater for God to know how much money he's selling this pack. And it's one thing to sell the promo. It's another thing to then sell the promo and package it with, you know, heavy bags. And that's kind of what they're doing. They're packaging these great promos and these great opportunities, right, with heavy bags. And I just kind of wonder, like, what type of meta zoo content creators actually exist? Um, and I wonder this because I don't really see them online. I don't see any gameplay. I don't see any collector cons no more. I don't see any TCG cons. I don't see any people at their local Friday Night Mag Ma Magic or Meta Zoo. I don't see any no podcasts. I don't see nothing um, about Meta Zoo. So the idea, and and you can look at the content creators. You can see the people who you can go Meta Zoo and you can sort the content creators. You can see a lot of them have left. And the only ones that are staying are the ones who are attempting to sell you more MetaZoo and dump it on you. Which I think is pretty hilarious, but at the same time, it's probably not a... No, how can I say this? Um, you don't want to be... It's like a hot potato game. You don't want to be the dude holding the bag at the end of the hot potato game. And I don't know. The Hello Kitty stuff is so weird in the sense that, again, I... My girlfriend's a huge fan of Hello Kitty, but she's not going to buy no cards of Hello Kitty. They're plushes for Hello Kitty cheaper than these packs of MetaZoo that Rudy is selling. Like, why would I... 
the you understand the card. The, the it's not even the the topic of the card. It's the actual thing. It's a card. Most females do not collect cards. That's just simply. It could be Pokemon cards. Could be Magic cards. Could be they are drawn to pluses and um, even if they want to like really. I don't even think that they think of this as an investment. I don't think they think of it. I think only due to her thirty five to forty. Think MetaZoo is an investment opportunity. Like, you know, I was talking to her about investments, and she's like, no, this, how could this be an investment? It doesn't make any sense. I'm like, you're right. It doesn't make any sense. Like, why would people buy this stuff and try to sell it for more money, like, long term? Like, why? I mean, it's just, you know, how's, uh, how's, um, it, it doesn't, yeah, anyway, MetaZoo to the moon, uh, and MetaZoo is not heading there anytime soon. I mean, it's just, how in the world would you imagine this is an investment opportunity? It's not. It truly is not. It never was. It never will be. And just enjoy the game. Like, UFO packs are less than a dollar a pack. That's not bad. You know, I'm pretty sure there's another set, Wilderness, that's like less than a dollar a pack. There are two sets that are selling for $30 a booster box on with free shipping if you order enough of them on mine currently. I mean, that's got to be all-time low for a living card game, right? I mean, I can't imagine... Yeah, I can't imagine anything because I have a distributor and there's nothing that is like a dollar or less for my distributor. Um, I mean, again, there's got to be some type of margin for them to stock it, right? So anyway, I don't know, man. I, I don't know how, how anyone's going to make money from this, uh, especially for if you already have a lot of uh, heavy bags. You're effed, my dudes.